There was some dark times where I was feeling really unhappy and things were, I was mad and blaming the world for stuff and expecting other people to do things for me and I noticed a huge change when I switched my mindset to taking more control and responsibility to my happiness and what I was feeding my brain. Hi, my name is Heather Martins and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I have three wonderful children and an amazing husband and I do internet marketing. Grew up with a, in a wealthy family. My parents had a hotel chain, eight hotels, and so it just it frustrated me that I didn't get to see them very often and so I just didn't really want to go down that route because I, I kind of associated them running a business as drilling long, crazy hours. I broke away from that, kind of rebelled, got into the uh, just working 9 to 5 with uh, regular jobs. First I was um, busing tables, so I worked in restaurants. And then I was delivering auto parts, that was a fun job. And then I got into uh, graphic design. I went to a, a private institute for graphic design and uh, typography at a local uh, private place just uh, in, my, in the town I grew up in. I had a mentor that I worked beside her for a while and then decided to pursue it as a career for a while. And then I went and worked in uh, businesses doing that, but it wasn't satisfying to me, working, having a boss and working their hours. So I opened up my own shop in Alberta. I was in a mall, so I had to be open the mall hours. It was a challenge, but it was, I was proud of it because I started it from scratch, and it was a lot of fun. It lasted about a year and a half in the mall, and then I ended up having to go bankrupt, which was really, really hard for me to deal with. I felt like it was admitting defeat. Totally changed my, changed my perspective on running a business. After I shut down my business, I actually went back into the nine to five, I went to a French shop and uh, I completely hated every moment of it. I was at the print shop for about six months and then I decided to quit that and I got married and had kids and I just decided to be a stay-at-home mom. We've been together for 19 years. After my husband and I got married, we decided to have kids. I was going to stay home and be a stay-at-home mom and have 24-hour uh, attention on our new little ones because we saw how my older daughter was raised and, and how she grew up. She didn't get, I don't think she got the attention that she deserved from both of us. I felt she was, I felt my daughter was kind of pushed aside a lot because she came to my work and I remember growing up feeling pushed aside at my parents' career. We have a way better relationship now because she's, she's older and more mature and we get along a lot better now. I was doing some work for Norbert and that was going great. It had nothing to do with MLM, it was just doing stuff for his company. And then after that, I took a course called Let's Get Social, and it was awesome, I loved it. So then I stopped working for Norbert and I went off on on my own doing social media management. But then I got back into network marketing again. And because I was able to do my own social media management, I just, the internet just sucked me in. I loved it. It's kind of everything in one spot that I love. I can do my graphics, I can do my socializing, and I can run a business all online. So I was on this call one day and there's this couple, this crazy couple, and they are talking on the phone for this training call and they're in the jungles of Panama, there's these birds in the background, and they're talking about how they travel the world with their little girl, and I was like, I want to do that with my family. I hooked up with Ron and Brian Swan online and started doing business with them and they have been mentors to me like nobody else I've ever come across has been for me. They've really taken me under their wing and shown me how great 
you can be online. I never received those kind of tips from anybody else before. And I moved my, my family from Canada, freezing cold Canada, to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and we're just loving it. It's such a great feeling to go outside in my bare feet and be able to sit by the pool with my computer and get my work done while my kids are playing and I can talk to them as I'm doing my business rather than being stuck in an office somewhere and not seeing my kids all day long and then we're exhausted at the end of the day. So I, I'd like to get my husband out of his grind of his construction company that he owns and I think he deserves to be able to retire because he's done so much for us for so many years and I'd love to provide that for him. And I, I love the saying, birds of feather flock together because it's so true. If you're hanging out with somebody who has no ambition in life, then you're going to be like that too. So I came to realize that how important it is to surround myself with leaders and people that are doing things that I want to do too and strive to be like them. Just everything that I'm learning from them, I wouldn't be getting that if I was hanging out with the wrong people. But if, with persistence and passion, because I love it so much, things are just going amazing. They're, it's really paid off the work. If you're doubting, if you're questioning whether you should do an online business, look at what you're values and your passions are and if it's worth it to have the freedom, the satisfaction, then be prepared to put the dedication behind it because it, it isn't an overnight thing. It, it does take dedication but with that then you can make it happen. If you're thinking about going to the next event, don't think. Just do it. Make, them, make it happen. Whatever you have to sacrifice to do it, make it happen and you will never regret it.